Hello, everyone. This is Sandy with the College of Alkaline Nutrition, our weekly webinar. We have a special guest this week. Uh, Lagerman is talking about light therapy. I'm really looking forward to it myself. But before we get too far down the road here, let me say hello to Heidi and John. How are you guys today? Hi, Sandy. I'm great. Yeah, so. yeah, hi, 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 Sunday. Yeah, really good here. Yeah, good, good. good and too. of course, we'll uh, ask Lagrin to say hello to everyone as well. Okay. Am hello, everybody. Am I saying your name correctly, Lagrin? You are. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. It's a very unique name. That's uh, I've never heard that before. And of course, when I looked you up on Twitter. You're the only one in the world with that name. So. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> That's right. All right. So we'll look forward to knowing more about that as John starts asking you questions a little bit, sure. a little bit later. But in the meantime, per usual, Heidi will be on the Facebook app where you came in, everyone, to answer your questions. Uh, so be sure, of course, to, as part of this community, more than we want to get to know, like, and trust you as much as you get to see our face, you get to know, like, and trust us. So... Feel free to say hello and introduce yourself. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, and if we've locked down, which is going to be in a very few minutes, and you are, we will be able to watch this live on the replay as well as being able to watch it live uh, over on the web. But if you have any questions prior to that, uh, feel free to leave them here. Heidi will answer those questions. And of course, if you're in here, uh, put, remain on mute until half past the hour. We'll be receiving your questions and, uh, as well at the top of the hour as well. Of course, you all know that you will be on camera. And if you choose to turn off your mic and your camera, you can do so. But of course, again, we ask you to stay on mute uh, until we ask you, until we open up, until let everyone uh, ask their questions. So with that, I'm going to say, John, what you got for us today, my friend? I know you have some, we're working on some news to share with us. Yeah, hi, hi everybody, and welcome to the webinar, special webinar, actually, with our wonderful guest, Ladrin, who I met a year ago. Yeah. No, a couple of years ago, I think, yeah. Yeah, a couple of years ago, yeah. And um, since then, he's been attending our... On a regular basis, about retreats and treating everybody with the light machine. Originally, I was introduced to the Lucia 3 machine, which were utterly astounding. There, there are very few medicines and treatments for the pineal gland, but the pineal gland plays a very crucial role in sleep and a whole bunch of other things like DMT production, and so we need to take care of it. And Apart from Indian Ease, which I take on a daily basis, one drop a day, which is called, it's called the silver book, which recalibrates the pineal. And I've got a tuning fork for the pineal. There's not much out there. And then when I went to Ladrin and had a go on the Lucia 3, it was, the, it was literally, it's mem it was a memorable, best night's sleep I've ever had after, after having one session. So he's been coming along with his own and he, he's got an updated machine called the Pandora Star. He's got some very exciting news about his adventures in London. He's, he's opening a 2,000 uh, square foot space in London with this machine that's really taking off, which is fantastic. And so he, I've, I've seen so many people use his machine of, at, at our retreats, and the benefits are just absolutely astounding and amazing. And and unique because of this special way that it treats the pineal gland and it's crucial and this, this kind of a theme we're building up on so we had Holly Page who, who's written a splendid well, an amazing book called the let me just get it for you hang on it's called Recreating the Psychoactive Forest so this, this is the practical manual with this book that was written probably 10 years ago. But it's still, to me, to, on, in the top five of the time I've ever read. It's called Return to the Brain of Eden. So we had Holly Page, who, who wrote the first book there, as our special guest. And uh, that, was, that was a week ago. She's been scoping lots of amazing things since then. 
Next week, we've got the author of this book as our special guest, so Tony Wright will be with us. And this week, we've got Ladrin, who I, I, I see as a, a very energetic young person with a, a already a, a vast amount of knowledge and experience of working with, with, with people and getting them well. So it's, it's great to be here. Now, before I hand over to you, Labyrinth, I will mm -hmm. do a little round of just interesting news. So, I picked up new scientists. This is, this is not known for being pro natural health. If anything, it likes to completely stag off natural health and everything <laughs> to do with it. So, I'll see what they've got to say this week. So, this is the latest edition that's just come out. And lo and behold, Talk about synchronicity. The first thing that jumped, that, that caught my eye is called, Oh, That's Why. So the title is Oh, That's Why. What's the listen? Tiny little space down in the corner here. Oh, That's Why. And let me read it out. It says, The origins of the female orgasm may have been Revealed, examining the mammal family tree, researchers have suggested it evolved to um, increase induce ovulation via the hormonal search. So that's the Journal of Experimental Zoology. And Yes, when, when I first read the, the Return to the Brain of Eden, he had a whole chapter on this. He'd already uncovered this 12, 15, or 15 years ago when he first drafted the book. That's, that's how, far out, far, how far ahead this book and this thinking is. That's, that's how far ahead Ladder and all the work that he's doing with the, the pineal, the, the, the experiences you get on the light machine. The, well, he'll tell you more about it, all the, the stuff that makes life bigger, more interesting, and but more worthwhile. Right. So that was the first thing I came across. The, the, the researchers have finally, the scientists have finally caught up with what, what dear old Tony was saying 15 years ago. And then there's been, there's been a huge debate about whether to, the labels should be put on foods in America, uh, stating that the food has got GMO. Well, that's another thing that's published. Know, know what you eat it for. Um, and it says, consumers in the US will soon have a better idea of what's in their food. On 29th of July, US President Barack Obama signed a bill requiring companies to disclose which foods contain genetically modified ingredients. <laughs> that has been a raging battle for, for at least 10 years. You, you'll hear all the big stars like David Co. say, you've got to get this to a goal. It, it, it happened, which is a fantastic, amazing thing. I always yeah. tell people that we're poisoned here. Other countries have different standards, even at McDonald's, uh, you know, they, they have, people are actually fed better foods at McDonald's than like Japan and other countries. But here, we're, you know, they do their best to keep us going to the doctor, to be honest with you. So it's like, it's a joke in a sense, but they, they really, they're really focused on profit here and not creating a nation of healthy people. Just want to say that real quick. They, they poison us here, and it's, I'm glad to hear that that's coming because it's needed here, especially in the states. Yeah, yeah. Now this this is an interesting one. Keto, a new keto drink produced by a scientist in in Oxford. So it's keto drink pushes cyclists further and faster. You drink this, you get an extra. I think it's 400 meters in. in like some some phenomenal athletic achievement that uh, they're, they're talking about here. But basically, if you if you switch to ketones for your for your fuel rather than then you're you're on a on a kind of extra surge there. So it's quite complicated the chemistry behind it. And I'll probably do 
actual session, a webinar, just on the ketones and how you can switch to a more uh, fueling yourself with ketones rather than glucose and the benefits of that, but also the dangers. So we're not going to rush into that. It's something that needs to be thought through very clearly, but it's, it's quite the big thing at the moment. So, uh, but that's that's a brand new drink that's just come. Let's see what else we've got. Um, something else that is very important. Yeah, coming up, hang on. It's to do with the bees. And... Oh, here, yeah, here it is. It's coming back now. It's it's to do with pesticides killing off the sperm in bees. So it's now recognised that that is a major problem. Hence why we're pushing the, the organic stuff. The, the other thing that... Uh, we've got a whole old feature on superfoods. Of course, trying to slag them off, saying that they're wasted time, but one, one interesting thing was, they, they did proceed to slag off all the people, saying they're not worth probably bothering them. But there was one where they said, well, actually, the kimchi and kefir is quite good. I thought, okay, that, that fits into our microbiome. And, uh, we had our special guest, Susanna, who was talking about the microbiome in kimchi and kefir. And so you know, they can't really fault saying, actually, it's not that bad, which, coming from them, is it means it's amazing out of this world. It's utterly astounding because they're, they're there to suck everything off. So there you go. That, that's, that's just a roundup from one, one newspaper. Each, each week I'll do a little roundup and lots of other things. Before I go, I want to, before I hand over to Labrin, I want to, I want to say a few, a few words about the new stuff that's just come into the shop. And this is. This is CBD, new CBD. It's liposomal, so you just spray it in the mouth. And it's from Colorado. It's pure CBD. It's CO2 extracted. It's got some nice flavorings in there to make it taste good. You just literally squirt it in the mouth and it goes straight through into the bloodstream. And they've got a companion one, which, which you do ingest. But it's called Exinol. Colorado. Now, this the interesting thing about this is it's got zero THC, whereas the, the, the one we've been the one that we sell traditionally is, is that one, and that's got the one three percent. So it's all legal, but this has got down to zero, and it's droppers. So some people think rather than using those syringes, which you don't inject yourself, you squirt it onto your finger, use this. Now, what CBD is good for? The list is endless. It's, it's part of our endocannabinoid system. It's one of our best sellers now on the website. People have caught on to CBD. Do, do check it out. Read up. Google. Look at, I think we've, we've done a webinar on CBD. I think we have. We've done, and Heidi's done a lot of periscopes. So Heidi has done periscopes on it. The other thing that uh, was great, I, I think it's pure coincidence, this suddenly came on the market. It's called Rush. To min and mineral by Sun Warrior. Sun Warrior is definitely one of my favourite USA companies. It's they're, they're so dedicated. You see them at all the raw food festivals in, in the US, and the government banned this stuff in the UK but for some reason. But I don't quite understand. I don't know why they banned it in the first place, but this is now back. Back with well, it's with us for the first time. It's called liquid vitamin and mineral rush. Why is this so important? Well, because you, you want something that gives you all the minerals and all the vitamin with one teaspoon a day, rather than taking this, this, this and this. So this this solves a lot of problems. Also, it's sweetened with a delicious stevia. So I don't know any child that wouldn't do. So it would benefit the children, it would benefit the adults, and it makes for a very easy life. So I make up my gluten-free, out of porridge in the morning, one teaspoon of it to flavour it up a little. And that's it, it's junk on vitamins, minerals, uh, all, all in. Now, you've already you, 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 got the label, but 
It's got it's got it's got A, B, C, D, and E in terms of vitamins. But what it says is that the B vitamins are not based vitamins. So that may seem like a small point that I'm making, but it's not because ninety nine point nine percent of all B vitamins are made from petroleum. So you do get the B vitamin, but until you, you know you take a B three, you take a B one, you take a complex, I mean the the big outlets, the big the big companies, or you know you go to a regular health store anywhere in the USA, anywhere in England, anywhere in the world, your B vitamin. You probably don't realise they're all made from petroleum. So you get the you get the benefit of the B vitamin. It does work. It gives you that B vitamin that you need. However, twenty years down the line, what happens? I mean, you've got a very strong carcinogen. They're made from petroleum. So uh, Dr. Robert Marshall alerted to this when I was at a conference in in LA recently. Well, not recently, it's about four years ago. So I've been telling everybody not to buy B vitamins unless it says quite clearly, or you've written to the company and they've they, they, they confirmed to you that these B vitamins are made from sources. So these are, this, this, this may seem like a, a, not, not an important announcement, but it is to me. This is very important. These, these contain all the B vitamins. In plant form, they're not carcinogenic. Ninety-nine percent of all of everything that you've ever taken has got a B vitamin. It's carcinogenic. It's made from petroleum. I've always avoided B vitamin. So, until mega food as well, we've been selling for years as a, as a supplement, uh, which again is from plant sources. Everything from mega food from plant sources. I know so, that's um, that's the next one I need to add because of headaches. If people are getting headaches, isn't it? Which is can be B vitamins as well. So yeah, I know that's the next one I need to. Yeah, the B vitamins are crucial, absolutely crucial in, in headaches. In, in, uh, the, 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 just thought, John, like yeah. just, if you're saying that um, you know a lot of these B vitamins are made from petroleum, etc., does that mean that you know if, if car fumes are out there, does that, are they giving off B vitamins in the atmosphere? No, no. What what they do? They use petroleum as the source base to make right. it, but they go through a special process to make B vitamins. So, okay. they, they, you know, they, they go, they do um, add all sorts of things to make the B vitamins. So you won't get any B vitamins from our exhaust. But it never, <laughs> it, it's it's uh, never know. It's, it looks like a B vitamin. It, you know, it tastes like a B vitamin. Oh, it's, it's a synthetic uh, product, right? Totally synthetic, yeah. made by big pharmaceuticals these days, and then pushed onto us. So definitely to be avoided, or be litigated, unless you absolutely know the source. Mm. It's, it's just not worth taking the risk. So just no. totally avoid it. Yeah, totally. Now this is something I've been that's also been released. In, it's called Liquid Life, and this is it's got all the minerals in it, and it's got folic acid which delivers minerals to the body. But what's key about this is it's got magnesium, silica, selenium, and zinc in higher doses. So you have a capful of that every day. And it's, it's the thing that's been missing, really, for bone health. So if you want a good bone health, the key thing is the silica and the zinc. So bone health does not rely on a huge amount of calcium. In fact, calcium, most of the products that you find are made from calcium carbonate, which is chalk. Now, if you think that chalk, by eating chalk, it's going to strengthen your bones, it won't. It just doesn't work like that. The chalk is not bio -accent. It's not, it, it's, your, your body will not recognise it as food. It has to, the, the only way you can get good calcium into the body is it has to be bio, bio compatible with like human beings, but it has to be converted into a form that the body can assimilate, and that's that's what our food does. When you eat some cabbage or, or some broccoli, that's got calcium in it, and it's calcium that's, that the body can utilise. It has to go from the ground in carbonate and be converted by the plant, and we eat that. That's the only way it's ever going to work, unless unless you've got 
natural source calcium in in ionic as, as an ionic mineral, which which mimics the same as the food that you eat. So, but what's the, what? Calcium is not the key ingredient in bones. The key ingredient is silica. So you need vitamin B3 from sunshine, magnesium, and need vitamin K. The key thing is silica. It's not. It's definitely not calcium. So for making bones, and this is all documented in in, in various. So the main one of which was uh, the longevity book by David Watt that he, he wrote. And he, he brought all of it to us and explained how it all works. Now, this was all explained by the Steiner, Rudolf Steiner, in his works. He definitely needs silica. Uh, it's made through the and magnesium to make good bones. And that, that's, that's what we need now. So far, where do you get silica from? Well, you get it from nettles, you get it from hemp leaf. Hemp leaf is easy to one, nettle tea is a good one. Wild nettles are great for, for that. You get it from a few herbs, the, the key one of which is horsetail. So we've been saying to people, you know, make sure you get these herbs inside you. But, but this, this is revolutionary. It's got the magnesium in ionic folic acid. So you get a cap, you know, half a capful usually does meet a day. But that's that's just going to be a massive, great, amazing improvement on on our bone building in terms of our, our medicines that we use. So I just thought I'd point that out. Is there anything else here? That's it. That's all. That, that's some useful for you. So, Ladrin, I'd like to. Um, Introduce you for the people that just joined late or coming on, on um, uh, as a replay. If, if this is Ladrin. He, he's our special guest. He, I met him a couple of years ago. He's, he's, I've seen him work with, uh, it must be close on 80 people at our retreat. So he's got a wealth of experience, a vast amount of experience working with people, working with new technology that's that's just just hit, hitting in, in, in all the right places. It's it's brand new. I mean, well, it's been around for a long time, but he's making it more available. Is, is the thing the new chew machine? What 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 caught my attention was all the li the list of benefits, but in particular the pineal and how it stimulates and recalibrates the pineal. When I had my first option, it was a bit scary because it's so psychedelic, but mm -hmm. it works. It, 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 Gave me the best night's sleep ever. And what's interesting about the Lucia machine is that it's tw it costs me like twenty thousand pounds. Now, what what Ladrin's done for the people to develop something more affordable, and hand on one is definitely the that's the one of the that's the follow-on machine. It does a very similar to Lucia machine, but the Ladrin's the expert. He's going to tell us more about this. It's it's in keeping with team that we're running with of recreating Eden and the, the psychoactive forest and recreating the brain of Eden. So our brain and the pine have been shrinking now for a few million years. That's something that I've read in the New Scientist as well. There's, there's people that, 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 that nobody disagrees with that. Our brains are shrinking and have been for, for a very, very, very long time. Well, this technology is about expansion. It's about... Re it's about recreating maybe lost capability that was there naturally that, that, we, that we enjoyed and need to recreate that and enjoy it again. So over to you, Ladrin. Give us the, okay. give us the, give us the gem. <laughs> well, okay, well, I've got the Pandora here. So this is a, a black version which I painted the, the front black. It's usually a grey colour. And in a few moments, it'll start to, to strobe. So you can see what it looks like. Um, it's got a series of uh, 12 LEDs, as you can see, these, uh, all these here are all LEDs. There's um, eight, uh, sorry, nine, nine uh, like pure white lights, and then there's, um, there's three warm lights. It's on the lowest setting, the brightness, so it strobes a lot like, brighter than it, than it does now. And just so I'll turn it down so you can see what it does. So this is the size of it. Uh, this is the back, and it runs on 12 volts, which is really, really good. 
So you can have it connected to solar panels if you want. Um, also have a portable battery pack for it, which you can take anywhere. So it has six hours battery life. So at the moment it's strobing and it's on, a, it's on the lowest setting. So when it go higher, it's much, much more brighter and more intense. And what this does, uh, unlike the, the Lucia light machine, is that it works on brainwave frequencies. And um, so on this device, you can have up to like 50 programs on the device alone uh, or more. And so you can flick through them. On the back, there's a um, LED screen. It's a bit hard to see. And at the top here, uh, just turn it around. On top here is a single button. So to stop, uh, to stop the machine is very simple to use. Just, just hold down and it turns off the flashing. So you have basically, uh, it's basically stopped. So that's what it's like when it's off. And then the back um, is, so you can't really see properly, but there's only, there you go. So it has a, um, is that the right way? Can you see? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. So basically it will tell you the, the start time here, how long it is, the duration. And at the top here is, is the name. So you can flick through various different programs. So we have one called Deep. Um, there's another one there called Astral. Um, there's, an, there's quite a few. There's loads. Uh, there's another one, Astral there. Um, Hemi, Hemi Sync. Um, and then we've got Remote Viewing. So you can fit loads and loads of different programs. So this device uh, can fit you know, a, a array of different programs. And if you were to purchase one, you can create your own programs too by using a Windows um, pro, um, program on your laptop, which basically is a, a, a sequence editor. So you can program any, any program from 0.1 hertz to 200 hertz. So you're playing with the whole consciousness spectrum of you know, consciousness. Um, if you know much about um, brainwave frequencies, so you can um, adjust it to like alpha, beta, theta, delta, hyper gamma, uh, gamma, lambda, and uh, epsilon. And for example, it takes 15 years for like a Tibetan monk to reach this deep state of theta or hyper gamma state of consciousness for deep meditation. Um, you're under this uh, light, light machine uh, device, the Pandora Star, for about six minutes and you're right in there. It's in training your brain waves using light impulses. Um, so you have like cycles per second, which you have in uh, brainwave entrainment of like binaural beats. Um, have you all heard of binaural beats before? So mm -hmm. how binaural, binaural beats are through stereo headphones like this. So say you have 100 hertz in the left ear and a difference of 107.5 in the right ear. And the differential of your, the hemispheres creates a 7.5 hertz, which is a, a deep theta. It works a similar way, but more of an isochronic tone. Isochronic tone is like a constant drum beat, like a shamanic drum. So it's like a dun, 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 dun. And after a while, you just, your brainwaves are synced to that sort of rhythm. Um, and the, the light also induces, like, you get some psychedelic imagery. Uh, the brainwave entrainment programs aren't designed for psychedelics and, and mandalas with your closed eyes, um, but you do get some. Um, the programs which are for psychedelic uh, programs work more on beta frequencies and square waves. So square waves look like square waves that are you know, very erratic and everything like this. And sine waves are very smooth, so they look you know, a lot more like, wavy. So the sine waves are a lot more subtle and um, you know, more, more relaxing, and the square waves are very erratic and you know, very like psychedelic imagery. Um, so that's how it works. It's, it's very simple. It's um, unlike the Lucia, which came in a six foot long box. It came with a separate laptop to drive it. It was a brilliant product, but it didn't do any brainwave entrainment. And that's one big thing that was, was missing from the product. Um, so the, the, uh, Pandora Star came along. It's been out for a year and a half now. And uh, we've had so many amazing results from people using it. Even people with epilepsy. Um, this isn't guaranteed, but People who are willing to go under, who have, um, you know, diagnosis of, of epilepsy, have actually found that their epilepsy uh, levels have gone down. They're, they're not so um, prone to, you know, having seizures, uh, etc. It's it's not a cure. We don't call it a cure, but it, we find that people who go under it are actually a lot more relieved. Um, so it has many many uses with brainwave entrainment, as you know, playing with the whole conscious spectrum. Um, so if you want it for deep meditation. You want it to get more deeper rest, more energy. It's great for people for who do therapies themselves, like hypnosis, um, massage. When you can put the Pandora shining up through the 
through the table and you can do massage while it relaxes them. Um, and even for personal development, uh, lucid dreaming, which is an area that um, uh, myself and the company work closely with. Um, so basically it's, it's helping you in train your brain waves to get you into a desired state much, much faster. And, you know, you can get to these states on your own, but to be able to get to these places much faster with a, you know, training wheels is a real big help. I had a client yesterday who, who arrived and she had been struggling with anxiety, et cetera. And, and um, she, after the session, she felt so calm and it, it completely changed it. I've seen so many people have complete changes within an hour, um, even half an hour, but usually I, I do hour long treatments. And, uh, it, you know, the look on their faces after is so, so beautiful. They seem so completely different. They seem relaxed, calm. And sometimes they even have a bit of a nap for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, allows them to get out of their body a little bit, um, dissolve the ego. And as a healer, I, I work on the body. So um, it's a real life-changing, you know, product, which is a very high-end piece of equipment. Um, so though it looks quite small, it's, uh, it's a lot to it, a lot more portable and, and compact, uh, very you know, portable and easy to use. And with that, we also have a growing community. So if anyone was to purchase the, the Pandora, it's not like you're left, left in the dark, excuse the pun. Um, you know, there's a full support network there where people worldwide, we have over 160 uh, Pandoras sold worldwide at the moment. And people are sharing information, programs, articles, research. And um, we did a, I did a live blood analysis uh, test um, a few months back. And just to see the visuals, what effect it would do. And I'm, I'm sure you guys know a lot about um, you know, blood, live blood analysis and the difference of, of blood. Unhealthy blood is all stuck together. It's not moving. Flow, like the flowing isn't very, you know, it's all stuck together, etc. After Pandora, we noticed that the red blood cells were a lot more free, flowing, and healthy, but we didn't analyze the blood itself. So I think in a few weeks' time, we're going to do another uh, blood sample in London where we're going to go and, um, go and have a blood taken. I think we have five individuals, uh, subjects, including myself. We're going to go and have our blood taken. We're going to go into the Pandora and have our blood taken again. And we're going to get our blood analyzed with melatonin, serotonin, DHEA, and uh, human growth hormone, etc. And to see what changes there are. And we're going to play, uh, we're going to be on a program which uh, is around 10 hertz, which will hopefully release those uh, hormones into the bloodstream and, and show some results. So it's not just a piece of a, you know, equipment, uh, a light that, you know, entrains your brainwaves. We're hoping to get a lot more research about that too. Um, so there's more to come and, you know, really excited to be in London at the moment and working with Pandora and yeah. So we're at half past the hour and at the point where we might have a few questions, but I have one of my own. Um, sure. And that is, I'm assuming there's some measure that you can show people some kind of improvements other than just feeling, you know, people feeling that they're, you know, is this something is there, is there a measure that you're able to say, you pay, brain is increasing, you know, something that says, look, this is the improvements you're making. Something like that you can write. Yeah, there's, um, I don't have anything to show me right now, but there is um, an EEG device which uh, people have me measured brainwave activity which basically put electrodes on, on the temporal lobes and parts of the brain, which are basically measuring before and after results of people being under the Pandora. Um, and again, yeah, there's a live blood analysis. There, there is evidence there and we're doing more research. Um, also back in March, I did, a, um, I did four, four programs on the Pandora, Alpha, Beta, Theta and Delta, um, all 10 minute uh, programs. And I had 40 uh, test subjects uh, go under these programs and record all the results. And it's really interesting in regards to the pineal gland and the and you know opening up the pineal gland because the way I think it's there's no research done because it's hard to like dissect the pineal gland and see that result. But it was obvious with people who were all under the same program all saw exactly the different same thing. And this is only white light shining at at your closed eyelids. So you have your eyes closed the whole time being under and um, people were seeing completely different patterns and colors and 
it's like if you were to be under it for like maybe five times a day, which I did in the beginning because I was just really exploring it, um, I wasn't getting so much color. And I was wondering what was going on. And basically what I think was happening is that the pineal gland is being secreted so much because of the BMT, dimethyltryptamine, um, that a lot of these colors are being flooded out and, you know, the, uh, the pineal gland is just being opened up so much. Um, and uh, these, these hormones are being released. So there's no, there's no uh, such research in, in a way, but it's more about people's feedback. Um, people have felt themselves more open and aware and awake and open themselves up spiritually. Um, it's, it's really improved a lot of area of life for people and people who have been under it and come back to sessions are really enjoying it. Um, but we're going to get some more research done too. Um, there is also another device, which I've forgotten what it's called, but basically measures the, the, the frequency coming out of the Pandora. And we have that search, uh, research done too, to basically show that the, the light strobing coming out of the Pandora at certain programs, if they're under 10 hertz or 7.5 hertz for like deep theta or something, um, it's showing that it's actually putting out these frequencies, which is very good. I'd like to add to that because you, you um, I get the feedback sheets from people and, they, and they generally the feedback is excellent. So they, yeah. and one of the common things is more relaxing. People feel relaxed, very relaxed, and they sleep better. So they're the two, two things that jump out at me. Sure. You also sent me the photos of the before and after pictures with the... the, um, like the uh, analysis and yes difference I, don't, I, I haven't got the pictures with it, but can you remember what the difference was um there was four people who went under and i can't remember all the details because the person uh who was doing the blood analysis basically noticed um some changes in the blood um but i have the pictures um which i can send to you but um there, there was basically some uh blood pictures of the blood were you know, very stuck together and people are very dehydrated, um, not, not enough electrical conductivity between the cells. And then after the Pandora, it was, you know, free and flowing and looking healthy. Um, so that's really good. And we have, you know, again, it's, it's we feel very blown away that it was just, this a 10 minute session really changed this, which was really good. Yeah. I, I, um, I've got um, something called a mind spa. And then you okay. mentioned, the, is it binary, the sound? It has that and it has the flashing um, glasses. Would that, yeah. uh, would that be a little bit like like that? Would that help? Yeah, would it be yeah that? It's, it's very similar. There are other products out there which use, um, they look like sunglasses with tiny LEDs. These are much, much bigger LEDs and they, it's a lot more stronger effect um it's it's very stroby it's very strong and you don't have to have it at full power either there are many people out there who are quite light sensitive who um are very sensitive to light and um so you know it depends on the level of the, the individual um but the pandora you know it's it's designed to be quite intense and powerful for that reason to really open up the pineal gland and to have brainwave entrainment um and it's also powerful too, the, the Pandora, which I use with um, gongs as well. Um, sound healing with the gongs, vibration is very powerful. And even on uh, using headphones too, uh, with the Pandora alone. Um, so you're not just getting the binaural uh, beats, um, the brainwave entrainment through stereo headphones, but also through the visuals from um, the light, you know, pulsing through the lamp. So um, yeah, it's, it's quite similar, but yeah, the Pandora is a lot more powerful, as you know, you've been under. Yeah, I um, really enjoyed that. Obviously, when I had a treatment, I hadn't slept properly the night before. And I yeah. was kind of needed that little, you know, to uh, really relax. And it did. It was it was a bit different having it, you know, doing it. But afterwards, I, I did feel that um, I relaxed. And, yeah, it was, it, I did really like the experience. Afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Can you touch a little bit about... Um, yeah, you mentioned color. Can you kind of you know, speak in a little bit about probing that is the color that is decreasing? What is the significance of seeing colors in the structure? 
Yeah. Sorry, it's hard to hear you. Um, I don't sure it's the line. Uh, you mean no, describe? I, I, I couldn't hear it either. Sunday, it was it was cutting out a little bit there. Uh, the difference between the colour and what it means. Okay, um, I'm not sure really. Um, it's I don't know about that answer, but I've, basically the brainwave entrainment programs you still get the visuals, the the psychedelic visuals, but they're not as intense as the the psychedelic programs, the binaural beat programs, the brainwave entrainment programs are a lot more um, flooded out there. They're still light and you still get enjoyment of it, but it just takes you much deeper. Um, some therapies I do, I, I have the, the psychedelic programs first just to have the enjoyment of the visuals and, the, and you still get entrainment with a beta, which keeps you quite awake and alert. And then after I switch to binaural beats, so um, sorry, not binaural beats, the brainwave entrainment and the Pandora so basically people have the two, but the, the different colors, I don't know. The research that I've done with, say, 40 people under the Delta program, which is for, like, for sleep, um, people, some people went to sleep, some people just got very relaxed, and some people saw completely different colors. So I think it's all dependent on the individual and their subconscious, and um, I guess, you know, everyone is different with different chemical makeups. So I, I don't really know the answer in regards to colour. The only way I can describe how the Pandora works is kind of like you put in white light through a prism and then you get all these colours out the other end. So, you know, everyone is like that prism, that, that, that triangle. And, you know, what they see at the other end is down to their perception. So it's, it's very unique and we're still doing research on the Pandora itself. So there's more, you know, more to come and more research and experiences I have another question as well. Um, yeah. what, what drew you to be working with, with the Pandora's box and how did you get into it? Well, originally I had a, a retreat centre in Somerset where my father had purchased two of the, the Lucia light machines and we were using those. Um, but I just wasn't getting people deep enough. Um, it doesn't work on the brainwave entrainment and um, someone who came to a workshop um, who I work with a friend of mine called Todd Archimesis, who works in the, in the company. Um, he, this, this gentleman made his own light machine. And because he saw, I think, how expensive the Lucia was and how it wasn't used for brainwave entrainment and how it could be improved. And he just did it for himself originally. So uh, he made the device and then we ended up, uh, you know, part of the company, um, putting this together. And uh, I work with with Todd, my friend, and uh, and doing various retreats on out body exploration, binaural beats, brainwave entrainment. Mm -hmm. So um, this was sort of born in into this, and we started to have a lot of you know feedback and results from people who are actually enjoying the Pandora a lot more, having a lot more deeper experiences. And this is an area of um, you know technology that we're very interested in um, because we want to take people much deeper. Um, we work very closely with like lucid dreaming and out-of-body experiences and, and deep dream states and deep meditation. And although the Lucia was very amazing, it wasn't working on a, a brainwave entrainment, like I said. So um, the Pandora works on that and people are having some really deep experiences where they go much deeper. And, and some people are even having five or six dreams in just one session. So <laughs> it's quite amazing. Thank you. This sounds really cool. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Essence. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, I'm a big fan of brainwave entrainment, light therapy, um, psychedelics, like all of this stuff. I love it. Um, I use, um, I use brainwave entrainment. Uh, I use some programs when I go to sleep sometimes. I've done light therapy. Um, so, like, these are all things that I do. And I've definitely seen results from these things. So, the fact that you kind of, like, brought it all together is so awesome. Like, I can only imagine how, um, how, that, how helpful that could be. So, I was just listening to you, and I was saying, oh, wow, this is really dope. Like, I'm loving this. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a powerful uh, piece of equipment. Um, sometimes I have trouble sleeping, um, just be moving about so much. So it's, uh, you know, like, for example, if, you know, 
you, you have trouble sleeping. This is this one example what's going on. Um, put the Pandora on and you are basically deep asleep within minutes. It's, uh, you know, it takes you very, very deep, uh, very powerful. And, you know, a number of many benefits too, where you can, you know, get much deeper in consciousness, in meditation, uh, more energy. Uh, but this is endless. It depends what sort of conscious state you want to get into. Um, people use it for sports therapy, hypnotherapy. Um, there's, there's unlimited potential. And we're still experiencing with that, still exploring with the potential of the Pandora star and what it has to offer. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Can I just chip in a bit, Sunday here? Jeff, I was going to say if there isn't any more questions, I, the, uh, I've unlocked the doors briefly, um, but we're going to jump back into letting uh, uh, you guys go into conversation mode here. So I think we'll, we'll lock the doors again. And uh, thank you guys for your questions. And um, just let you guys get back to engaging. Okay, shall I, shall I say something, Sunday? Or? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, no, I, I just wanted to say that the, the, the College of Alpine Nutrition, we run a practitioner course and we're doing the summer prep at the moment for, for people to to get up to speed with a lot of the things that we're doing very quickly. And Sunday and Heidi are running that primarily with me, me helping out as well. So it'd be great if people could join that program. The, we're also working towards people joining the practitioner course which will give you a qualification as, a, as an outline practitioner but this today's seminar illustrates the we're a broad church where we're not just about I mean, we are very much about helping people with all the life-threatening diseases with with problems with the lungs problems with with uh, skin skin issues and aches and pains and arthritis and all of that we do all of that and by making lifestyle changes we help with all of that but we're also about the people that are well that want to expand their minds that want to move in a different direction that want to to explore the, the full capacity and potential of the human being and that's, that's where this kind of stuff comes in it's something that you can experience when you come on the retreats which are part of the publishing program so the, the you know, I just wanted to, I wanted to bring Ladder and along to show that we're, we're not just about fixing problems, we're about okay, where can we go, how big can we get, how much can we really get out of life. It's, it's about expansion as much as the big thing. So it's been really great having you here, Ladder. Thank you very much. Yes, and I only had you up the road and now you've moved to London, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still in London. <laughs> will, will you be available for our retreat, Ladrin, do you know? Or? In October? Yeah. Yes, that's, I'll be fine for that. Yeah. No problem. Cool. cool. Yeah. Okay. Are you, living, are you actually going to be spending all your time in London then? Most of your time in London then? Yeah. Um, I say we've got the Pandora Star Spa being set up soon. Um, we'll be moving there hopefully next week. And it's a very big space uh, with... Uh, a couple of therapy rooms, a very large like floor area where we can do lots of like uh, events and talks. And we based uh, around Old Street area, which is good. It's on like the National Rail and the Underground, uh, very central of London, uh, easy to get to. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, I'll be able to reach an, um, as many people as I can to help people. Uh, and London needs this, and perhaps Bristol as well. You know, it's just. Uh, We'll be uh, branching out and hopefully having different spas worldwide and different areas and towns and cities. So, um, you know, this is just a start and it's going to expand. And so there's lots of people who already purchased the lamp. So it's, you know, it's really helping. Do you do like large groups or are people able to walk in or how does that work in terms of your spas? Um, yeah, we're still putting some ideas together and working as a team. So a lot of the the therapies that I do use gong work, uh, binaural beat to the Pandora, different sessions. I do massage and healing with that too. Um, and also people can just experience it on their own for deep exploration, um, just left themselves uh, with like binaural beats and music. 
Um, so there's different different avenues. There's uh, there'll be also week long stays for people to stay over and enjoy um, you know various sessions, um, you know, week long stays, day visits. Um, so th- we're still expanding and researching and putting some ideas together. So at the moment we're just you know trying to uh, move premises and move over and uh, set up the the offices and and base for the Pandora Star uh, Spa basically. Well, good luck with that. Yes. So, thank, thank you. you. So what's the best way for people to uh, find you, locate you? How are people actually finding you? Is it word of mouth? Uh, you know, Facebook page, I'm sure all that kind of stuff. We can uh, yeah. get to our Facebook page and point people to you. Yeah, tell my name on Facebook and you'll find me. Add me as a friend, send me a message, or go straight to the Pandora Star website, which is very easy. It's www.pandorastar.co.uk. And uh, just send a message over, and uh, yeah, book a session, and or find some more information. Um, and that's the best way to find me. And then, how much is this to strobe? I mean, I imagine that you, you sell those. I think you mentioned it, um, and you probably have different, different sizes and variations of it. Um, is there a range, a cost range, and, and do you ship to the U.S.? Also yes, we ship to the U.S. Um, the price is uh, four thousand pounds. So whatever that converts into U.S. dollars, um, I think it's five and a half uh, thousand U.S. dollars. I think the conversion, um, with, that's including the shipping. Um, it doesn't involve a, a tripod though, and we have a range of different tripods, or you can have your own. Um, but yeah, we ship ship worldwide. There are people in America already who have, have brought the lamp, and you can also demo that too in in America uh, or worldwide wherever you are. So you can just go onto the Pandora Star. Uh, dot uk website and there is a try a pandora star near you so basically get in touch and find someone locally to where you are and um, you can basically book a trial and a session but ultimately come to london if you want to meet myself and the team and come come to the pandora star spa and uh you know have a go and uh yeah it's uh, been very transformational seeing people's lives change and all their worries just dissolve and they are a completely different person at the end. So very powerful piece of tool. And then finally, how many times would you recommend someone doing these treatments, if you will, like just once a day or several times a day? And is there, you know, they're trying to solve, let's say they have this you know, condition, would it be better than they you know, to prolong these, you know, or just something they can do for short periods of time or something you can do forever? Um, well, me, it's like, uh, you know, it depends on the person. When they're ready, they can do it every day if they like. Um, sometimes I do it every day, sometimes I don't. Um, it just depends how busy I am or if I need that. Um, other people, they might need it once or twice a week. For therapies, it's different because I do like hour-long treatments with people with healing, Kong therapy, and if they just want to uh, get away and have that treatment, then that's available. Um, for those treatments, I recommend, you know, every few weeks, every four weeks, or every three weeks. And depends on that person's stress levels too. It's like, like a, it's no, like no different than the massage because um, we use gongs in our, in, our, in our therapies, in my therapies. So the gongs, if you don't know, they work on a vibrational frequency where they vibrate every single cell in the body. They uh, shift emotions and, and stagnant energy. And uh, it, with a Pandora alone, it just... It's, you have the brainwave entrainment there too. So it depends on the individual, how stressed they are, how much they want to get away. And it also depends on what they want to achieve. If it's for deep healing, if it's for better night's sleep, um, if it's for um, consciousness exploration or meditation. Again, the list is endless. We're, we're, we have a tool here, a device, which is we only have one version of that. And um, it depends what they want to achieve and what they want to experience. Awesome. Well, if there aren't any more questions, I think we've come to the end of our time together. I thank you, Labyrinth, for, uh, I want to call you Labyrinth. It's not right. My name's down there. Okay. Well, and of course, you have to get into the story of how you got that name before we part. <laughs> okay. Well, basically, I had a previous name, a birth name, which um, I wasn't too happy with. I changed so much over the years, and uh, I just, just asked, you know, Higher, higher energies, if that's what you want to call, for a new name. I was, funny story, I was sat around a round table with uh, four people and uh, the name just popped into my head one day and I thought it was a message for one of those four people. 
but that was my name that was given to me. And at first I was like, really, that name? That's for me? Um, but I decided to use it. I felt comfortable with it. And it's, it's not out there at all. I have a friend who lives in Taiwan. He said the closest um, translation in her language means uh, forest. So I stuck with that and I'm happy. So um, that's where it came from. Well, it's very cool and very unique, honestly. And, uh, you know, it's something I think all of us should aspire to coming up with a coffee <laughs> name, if you will. It's very cool, actually. Like thank you. Yeah, so, cool. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, I want to thank you for being a part of what we do here. Uh, this is, again, the content outline nutrition where we basically trying to help everyone live a better life by understanding that you don't have to face the way that uh, you know, we've been taught growing up. Um, I know for a fact that everyone knows that seeing a change in me, in my energy, uh, in my nice, I sleep sounder, um, because I'm not processing meat. Uh, we are doing a great deal of education here, which is the value of this community. We're having great speakers on, like Lazarus and um, Holly Page. Next week, I believe, we're going to have uh, what's the speaker coming in next week? Tony, Tony White. Tony White. Tony White, yeah. Tony White, yeah. 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 Y
Well, awesome stuff I'm looking forward to myself. So with that, you guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you to all our replay watchers as well. Um, again, next week, we have to invite, as uh, John had explained, it's going to be amazing. I want to thank again, Catherine, for being here. Great information. Thank you. Looking forward to myself coming to London, which I will be on towards the end of September. And uh, I'm going to see your workshops and learning more about you. We're still thinking it. Um, if you don't know about Periscope, it's how we all kind of help to uh, grow as a community here. So, again, thank you, Ladrin, for thank being you. here. John and Heidi, my, myself, we thank you all for being here. And that's our show. We'll see you next week, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.